Good morning. So, uh, I did 20 miles yesterday, maybe a little more. I don't know, with the Blue Blaze. Um, made it to Thai River. Didn't have any service. Um, so I edited a couple videos and uh, got them ready at least to upload when I do get to some Wi Fi. I think I only have one more video left for tomorrow. So, uh, and now I'm making a climb, like a 3,200 foot climb up, uh, I think it's called Three Ridges. I did the priest yesterday and someone just told me this morning, and this is the last climb, so probably like Massachusetts, like the last big, big, big climb, you know, 3,000 feet or so, which is kind of, it's not good or bad, right? It's a, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of smiling on the inside, but uh, it's also a little disappointing. It's like, uh, why'd you tell me? Uh, the climbs are challenging. And uh, whether I want to admit it or not, I kind of like the challenge. So the debate has been, uh, Miss Janet told me about the Marhar Trail, Mahar Trail, which is coming up and it cuts off a little bit of the hike today, but it's a blue blaze and supposedly it's a, mm, pretty difficult blue blaze so whatever it cuts off it makes up for and and uh, I guess being technical and you know but it's supposedly along the waterfalls and climbing waterfalls and that's kind of my jam so uh, I do need to get to town or to Devil's Backbone Brewery I guess they have free camping there and hot showers and hopefully some Wi-Fi um so yesterday, Papa Smurf didn't um, hike. So I gave him all my power banks to power up for me while he was taking a day of rest. And and uh, so now I have no power banks and I, I don't know where he's at. I haven't had service and maybe he doesn't either. And um, so hopefully I'll see him today. But if not, little emergency situation. Um, get the devil's backbone reassessed and I might need to go into Waynesboro to... Um, To get some power banks. <laughs> uh, yeah. But uh, I'm a little bit from the Mahar Trail or Mahar Trail or whatever it's called. And uh, But it's really not a bad day today. I mean, it's a climb and it's a hike and it's probably going to be all day trekking through the waterfalls and being intentional about it. But I think it's only like 10 miles to Devil's Backbone. So, and look at, listen to me saying only like 10 miles. Um, when I used to struggle every step of the way, and don't get me wrong, I still struggle, but um, it is getting easier. I've never felt healthier since I've been out here. The ankle still bothers me a little bit, but um, it's getting stronger at least, and it's not as bad. So the group is kind of all split up now. Uh, just, you know, like, what do you call it, what are those, slinky? We're slinkying up the trail. So uh, me and Caboose kind of camped next to each other last night, but uh, I left before him this morning, got up the mountain, got a little signal, sat down and um, answered a ton of messages and text messages and stuff like that. And um, it's really late. It's like 10 o'clock and I'm only like a mile in. So, uh, so I'm going to get to hiking. Come along. See if I do the Mahar Trail or the AT. And I think maybe the Mahar Trail used to be part of the AT. I don't know. Um, maybe some historians out there could tell me. But supposedly somebody wrote a beautiful poem about it on on Far Out. That's just kind of so appealing. And so many people coming up saying, you got to do the Mahar. Like, and uh, here's your sign, buddy. Oh, and so uh, yesterday I ended up at the 836 mile mark and the day before I started at 798. So I did 
It's already like 40 miles in two days. It's kind of crazy. Past 800 the day before yesterday, and it was 835, 836 last night. So like 38 miles, I guess it was. And today is going to be the measly 10. So what you did yesterday, all that pain and suffering, doesn't really matter. You all end up at the same place all the time. What I did yesterday matters not. I gotta do this climb right now. Whew. Brother, it doesn't get any easier out here. So the first uh, three quarters of a mile at least was uh, essentially straight up. Steep, steep, steep climb. Um, but it wasn't too bad. Man, I wouldn't want to do that all day long. But uh, kind of a little steep decline now. And I think you're going to see a lot of this over the next couple miles. Steep ups and downs. And supposedly, I'm going to be walking along a waterfall here pretty soon. Which makes it all worth it. Um, so. Today is uh, June 15th, actually, so it's been three months I've been out here. Uh, started March 15th, June 15th, three months. I don't know how many days that is. I don't want to count, start counting up days because I don't count days. I celebrate them all. So three months. Um, right around 845 miles. But a lot of zeros, a lot of nearos, a lot of painful six to eight mile days in the beginning. And now I'm, you know, capable of doing 20s, really comfortable around 15 to 18, uh, a couple of 26s and halves thrown in there. So I'm assuming, and I don't like playing the assumption game, because you know what that does. But if I were to start today, maybe it would take me 60 days to get here. I don't know. So, but I love these last 90 days. Uh, I don't even want, oh, let me not say 90 days because I don't know how many days it is. Three months. I love these last three months. Every single day has been great. There hasn't been uh, one day out here where I haven't wanted to be here. Now, there's been a few moments where, <laughs> you know, I'm covered in mud or after a fall, and I'm uh, like, what the heck? But within five or 10 seconds, I'm kind of laughing it off. Um, I love it. It's like, it's so different than the way I've lived my life. But at the same time, I could be sitting at home with my grandbabies and love that. Or I could be 
at the beach and love that. Or I could be doing absolutely nothing and love that. So the trail is amazing and it is an adventure. And the people and everything's so cool, but to me, the real adventure's in your mind, man. It is. Live in every moment to the fullest. No matter where you're at or what you're doing. It makes it a lot easier to be out here, but why is it that 75% of the people don't make it? Why is it that so many people are defeated by it? Does it mean they're weak? No. Not at all, because this isn't a physical strength. It definitely takes some physicality. But this is a mental game, man. This is this is being content in any situation, man. This is not enjoyable hiking up mountains, man. <laughs> it is not like you say, like, yeah, give me another mountain to climb. I don't know. Maybe there's some people like that, but it's like this. It's like people ask me, like, did the tattoos hurt? Yeah, they hurt. <laughs> and I hear people all the time say, like, Oh, I love getting tattoos. They don't hurt me at all. And I'm like, okay. They hurt, man. Some places hurt more than others. Some mountains sometimes hurt more than others. Some days hurt more than others. But make no mistake about it. They hurt. It's it's being okay. It's being uncomfortable. Uncomfortable isn't a bad thing. In fact, I heard this before, and actually my son-in-law, my former son-in-law told me this. He listens to somebody and he says, and it's just, it's kind of how I live my life. Do something every single day that you absolutely despise. That is so uncomfortable, that painful. And I don't care if that's a gym. I don't care if that's, you know, uh, being vulnerable. I don't care if that's hiking a mountain. I don't care if that's, you know, telling someone you love them. I don't care what it is. Something that may, I don't care if you hate dancing and go dance. Do something every day that makes you uncomfortable because that's how we grow, man. My other friend Jason says, dreams die in the comfort zone. And I believe that's absolutely true. You can't fail. You cannot fail. Failure is a construct. But guess what? So is success. It's just a word, man. It's just a word. Just wherever you're at. So everybody always asks me what the solution is to recovery and, you know, to live in a contentful, relatively happy, joyful life. And it's really this simple. And you could say things like spirituality or service and prayer and God. And, but it's really one word. The moment, man. There are no problems in the moment. There are zero problems in the moment. Oh. Sorry about that. I was blocking the trail for a trail runner. But the solution to every single problem that has ever existed in the entire world is the moment. If you could bring yourself to this moment and just appreciate what is around you, the only thing that exists, then the problems go away. And I don't care if you're in foreclosure or bankruptcy or, or have a terminal illness or... or or addict in recovery or trying to get recovery, addict alcoholism, worry, anxiety. You want the solution? Bring yourself to the moment and think about it right now. What problems do you have in this moment? We're all relatively fed. We're breathing air. Birds are chirping. There is no problem in the moment. All the problems are in our heads and our minds. And it doesn't mean that difficult things don't happen to us. And that we don't have to plan and, and 
take care of responsibilities. I'm not saying that at all. But I'm saying when you bring yourself to the moment, you watch a sunset or a sunrise or dogs running or children playing or smell the air. There is no problem in the moment. So if you want the easy solution, I can make a thousand videos on how to overcome obstacles. But there's really only one solution. Be completely present in the moment. All right, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this hike. And that's what being in the moment means, using all your senses, visually taking it in, listening, smelling. Huh. I don't know where to go here. She has waterfalls left left and down I guess all right let me figure this out Do that too. <laughs> it's not even noon, it's beautiful. Definitely requires shoes around here though. Yeah. Any swimming pool scares me. Bottles. All right, so unfortunately, my camera shut off on me before I got in the water. So, once again, that memory is mine. I got a little bit of me under the waterfall with my second phone, but my initial jump in. No footage. Look at that. Beautiful. What a great trail. phone away.
Trail ninjas. Reach up and grab your ankles. Wow, what a hike, man. The Mahar Trail. Thumbs up. The waterfalls are beautiful. I mean, they're not huge waterfalls, but it's just cascading water down these giant boulder rock, face rock freezes. Very difficult using your hands in certain places and um, good change. Um, so I just passed this guy. I know I'm gonna think about a man, me passing somebody. <laughs> but I just passed this guy coming down the trail. And he's got a slack pack on a day pack. And, and uh, he's got a cooler at the bottom of the hill here. And I got about a half a mile, six tenths of a mile to the bottom to Reed's Gap. And I'm gonna hitchhike over to Devil's Backbone Brewery. I know, alcoholic going to a brewery. That stuff doesn't bother me though. Uh, I guess they give you free showers and free camping in the back and uh, it's kind of a staple. And I've said before, I want to experience everything the trail has to offer. But anyway, I passed this guy. He's got two knee braces on. Uh, so he's got a cooler down here for me and said he's, his name is Old Bug. And he asked me my name and I said, wing it. And he just looked at me puzzled. He goes, that was my original trail name, winging it. And I said, oh, I'm just winging it one word now, but it started out winging it. Someone said winging it. Um, but he hiked in 2010, he said. That was his original trail name. And now he's, he's training to go to Kilimanjaro, which is super cool with his bad knees and all. So, same philosophy as me. Said he started on, I think it was March 7th, he made a decision to hike the trail, and March 20th, he was on trail. So, I love it, man. Uh, our stories aren't unique, man. If you've thought about it, somebody's probably done it. So, I talked with him for a little a few minutes little bug and I'm gonna get down here and enjoy a soda or a Powerade and hopefully get a picture with him and have another little talk with him. But the Mahar Trail, whoo, baby. Beautiful, but it was a climb out of there. Uh, it's been a nice day, man. And I don't even like to say that because as my buddy geese around the go, man, made me smile. Said He says it all the time now. Days aren't good or bad. They're just days. And that's one of my mottos and philosophies. Sun comes up on Monday just like it does on Friday and Saturday. It made me smile because he commented on one of my videos and said he uses that phrase all the time now. Appreciate you geese around the go.
Appreciate all you guys, man. So let's say, how do I put it into words then? It's been a nice experience today, a nice happening. <laughs> the day, just a day. The experience, wonderful. 